to boost confidence any idea what we have to do drink boost in the morning <laughs> yes no who all are sleeping no one is sleeping and still there is no response good so day dreaming you know din mein khwab dekhna something like that no yes no yes no okay i'll ask individually yes no then why am i not getting responses are we awake yes are we awake my loud sound just my sound is louder than yours you all are ten at least are we awake yes oh great this sounds good now how to boost your confidence is what they have told me to talk about but what exactly is confidence i guess you guys have heard a lot about confidence confidence is what uh injection rather <laughs> not a medicine though injection wherein you can quick start so how does how should we take that injection practice okay but practice also sometimes you know i i am practice to get up late in the morning <laughs> so that practice might harm me in the future so practice yes is in a positive way a good option though but not all the time any other answers how to boost great should you should have an idea about what you are talking about though i don't have an idea about what i'm talking about because this is a topic given to me right away okay still i know what exactly is confidence so i'm able to talk about that so i'm asking you guys what could be other possibilities see that as much as we get common more subject yes we will get common increase our confidence we'll take a short break back <clears throat> so we were talking about confidence injection so as brothers likely said we should know what we want to talk about so that we get confidence on whatever it is okay now still after knowing what we have to talk even if we are not confident what is that shyness okay could be lack of concept okay hesitation stage fear okay if it's uh, on a stage it can be stage fear brother any answer no okay you think why still after knowing everything about the subject and we are not confident what could be the possibility of it sorry can you not speak speak okay as he said the speaker might be thinking that whoever is taking the answer might not take it in a positive way but what i would say is what all you have read or what all you might be speaking is that your own knowledge which you have gained from your inventions no ways these are the globally proven things if you are an, uh, giving an answer of something a plus b whole square so yeah that's the globally known answer so if you have the fear thinking that he might think that i'm giving a wrong answer then then that person is fool not you cuz we know that's the correct answer if you're not sure if you're not sure then comes the possibility of not being confident but when you are sure that this is the correct answer what are we scared of 
and why should we scare, be scared of? Right? So if you are not sure about any answer, simply say I don't know. Simply say I don't know. In any interview, anything. Rather than saying one lie and giving ten supports to it, and all the ten supports would be again ten lies. So it's better you say, no, I don't know that, and get back next. Because you might, there might be a possibility of having ten questions in an interview. <clears throat> okay, and the first question itself you lied. Your answer is wrong. Remaining nine questions will be depending on that one lie, and all will be wrong. So, what is the possibility of you getting selected? Zero. Zero. So, if you don't know any interview, do you think anyone in this world knows everything about everything? Or anyone, any beat, any scientist also, he knows everything about his process or whatever is his topic? That's the reason we have someone specialized at one particular thing. Okay, so you are not supposed, uh, no, you are not expected to know everything. You are not expected to know everything. If I am going for a C++ interview, I am not supposed to know the advanced programming of OOPS. I am not supposed to know that. What they would ask, what is the first, what, what are the header files, how do you compile it? Make a calculator program, simple programs, okay? But you know, you're supposed to know at least those programs. These are those are the basics, basics, okay? I've seen a lot of C++ candidates. Uh, we make them write the programs, but no compilation, lot of errors, just in a simple program. So no, practically do what your programs are. Do it practically, so that you know, okay, because sometimes what happens is, what we understand is what it is actually. And we take it that way continuously, till the end of the process, or till the end of your semester. But at the end, when you start compiling each and every program, it's totally different. So the day you get the assignment or the day you learn it, do it by yourself. You will anyhow have lab facilities, everything in your college. If not, you can, computer is anywhere nowadays. You hardly would not get computer at anyone's home. Or even if someone doesn't have a computer, you can spend at least 10 bucks, internet center. And there are a lot of online websites wherein you can compile programs. Are you guys aware of that? No one? Okay, there are a lot of websites on the net. See, you need not, if you are writing a .NET program, say. Okay? So you need to have .NET installed on your computer. Right? But there is a website. While going there, it will give you a box. I'll, I don't remember the name, you can check it. If not, I'll get back to you on this next week, the name of the website, okay? So if you just need to give the code, press compile, it will give you the result. C++, click C++, put the code, press compile. So any program, Java, C++, .NET, PHP, anything, okay? So it will give you the exact compilation of it. So you cannot say, I don't have a computer at home. So getting back to confidence. So one reason is we think whatever we might say, the interviewer might take it in a wrong way. Underestimate ourselves. Underestimate ourselves. I was coming to that. <clears throat> yes. This is one of the biggest, biggest issue which we have, especially in the community. Okay. We think, I'm not equal to a person who's working in, in a big company. He might be full knowledgeable. He might be, what do you say, 
a bookworm. But actually speaking, they, you would find very, very less number of people who would be that much talented as you think. But rest, they are just people like us who would be working. Will they have two thorns, four legs, four hands? No, right? They'll just be normal people like us. Just normal people. All they do is they approach those companies for that interview. He is one sitting <clears throat> between us, working for Accenture. I remember, you, where were you uh, working before this? ICC Bank. Now he is in Accenture. So did he get the job being at home? Did he get a job thinking that I should attend an interview? No. He got the job because he applied for it. He went there. He checked whether it's an opening available or not. He cleared. Now, what the normal perception is, if you reje get rejected for one company, I'm rejected for all the companies. Once you get rejected, what we do is, I'm rejected for all the companies. But I would tell you a simple example of it. See, suppose I am a barber. You guys know barber, okay? I'm a barber. I go for an interview for a tailor who stitches clothes. Will I get selected there? No. Does that mean that I don't even know how to shave? I'm a barber. I don't even know what to do. I know my work, but the job which is there is of a tailor. Simple as that. So I'm not selected for that, but that doesn't mean that I don't have skills. I clearly have skills. I know how to do my work. It's just that the uh, guy they are looking for is different. That's what, what I am. Okay, sometimes it might happen that there is a vacancy for Baba and I apply for it. Still I get rejected. What for? Bad luck? Yes, can be bad luck. Why not you think about the good luck of a person who knows the work better than you? Okay, to make this clear to you guys, I'll give you another example. <clears throat> there is one job, you being a graduate apply for a job, another tenth fail applies for the same job, and he gets the job. How would you feel? Sad? Bad? Yes. Angry? Why? Because you think you're more capable. You're more capable enough. You're a graduate. You know things better than him. Right? So when you know things better than another person, you deserve that job. Right? So now, in this other case, if someone knows things better than you. Does he not deserve that job? Yes or no? Yes. So what are we angry on? We don't know what we have to do and we blame on others that he is getting the job. Especially we think they are of same caste, they got it. They do that. He knows the interviewer, so he got selected. You know any interviewer there in Accenture? Still he got selected. I entered a lot of interviews, never knew any HR, any interviews. Still I got selected in many companies. So it's all about how you do and what you do. It's not about what though they, they are. So first thing is know your basics.
no one will ask advanced we learn everything about advanced we learn how to make a rocket but we don't know how to fit nuts and bolts is as simple as that you know the advanced programming i don't know how many cs people are here people who are from programming so you know advanced programming everything you don't know what is a header file where is the header file saved you know everything about computers right so no basics start from the basics know your basics correct and you get the next levels better okay another possibility of not having confidence is any other possibility you're confident no why why you not confident fear your fear you fear of what about communication so what is that fear you don't have vocabulary to talk all right great our right, brother brother is feared cuz he thinks he's learning great but he thinks he he doesn't have good vocabulary and he's scared of talking or he's not that confident now give me a simple example now think i am in an interview i am not able to speak up i'm not able to speak in an interview what will happen in that case i'll anyhow be rejected no second chance why is he my brother in law to give me second chance not at all no one no one no one yesterday i got a feedback a guy gave very good interview in bank of america still he got rejected yeah he gets stuck definitely he would I mean, there is a possibility but at with present rate with present scenario the thing is there are thousands of people for no tens of twenties of uh, jobs so you will not be given a second chance they need the best of the best who can do it at the same time okay now okay i don't have good communication skills i'm learning it that's a good thing but what might go wrong if i get rejected will the interviewer kick me to go out will he say get lost you got rejected no someone thinks that he would no right so say no yes no no okay okay will he slap you go you got rejected no will he tell you bad words you dash dash you dash dash something like that no okay might be he would come to your home and tell your parents your guy got rejected do you know that not even this okay might be they would print in the newspaper or in aap tak tv some some other tv's local news he, what's your name sayed tamim yes. sayed tamimuddin got rejected with his picture and tv in the newspaper they would not do all this okay might be they would tell to your friends and everyone in hyderabad big posters in the city what do you call that at advertisements big hoardings sayed tamim tamim tamimuddin got rejected something like that nothing all this will not happen then what is that if you speak what might go wrong 
what might go wrong if you speak? Yes, Tamim. You tell me any possibility. What might go wrong if you speak and you don't speak well? If you say, make <coughs> two o'clock. You आप बात कर लीजिए मैं दो बजे खत्म कर दूँगा. Arrangement करना है तो कर लीजिए आप. Arrangement करना है तो कर लीजिए आप. Okay, so any possibility. <coughs> If you don't speak well, anything might, which might happen, you get rejected. Simple, right? But you get an experience, a better experience that, okay, this is where I got stuck. And Definitely, yes. If we get rejected, you would know where you are lacking, where you're lacking. And you would improve that if you want to get selected though. But what we do is, simply I'm not getting selected, I'll go to the next interview without improving it. Will that work? No, that will not work. Improve yourself. Why should, see I just gave you another example, two people, one is 10th class, one is graduate. Who should get selected? Graduate, graduate right? Same ways, if there are two people, one is less <coughs> knowledgeable, another one is he has got a hell lot of knowledge. Who should get selected? You also being in the same play place, if you are very much knowledgeable and someone is not even knowledgeable, <coughs> you wouldn't want yourself to get selected, right? We everyone, everyone wants this. We all want this. People who <coughs> are eligible for something, should only get it. So, now, if you want to get selected, then you have to make yourself eligible for it. Right or not? So, do you think someone who is more knowledgeable than you should not get a job and you should get a job? No ways. And you would not even, if your luck is good, you would sometimes, but until unless you work hard, you cannot even survive there. After getting, even after select, getting selected, do you think you can survive if you don't have knowledge of something? No ways. In today's corporates, you can never ever. Every day is a challenge for you. And that you can face only when you clear your basics. You should be clear about your basics. No what you are learning, now what, where is it implemented, what is it all about, okay? Any other questions, guys? Please. Good, great. Now, as you said, we compare ourselves with other people. Sometimes it even happens only when you sit in an interview hall. This is what I simply give to my students. He might be aware of a trick which I give. Mustafa being my student, he might be aware of a trick which I give to my students. What happens usually is you get a lobby in which you, have, you guys have to sit for interview. Right? There, your confidence gets increased or decreased depending on the people who are around you. If you have 10 graduates, all freshers, uh, in my language I call it nulla people, I mean, they don't even know anything about the subject. They don't even know anything about the subject. And if you have such people around you, you would again be scared. 
Okay. These, these are 10 people who don't even know. You will be confident. Okay, I know at least something. I'm sorry. You'll be confident. Oh, I know very much better than these guys. But if you have five people who are experienced with you, what will happen? No, your, confident, your confidence will go off. Because you know that there are people beside you who knows the subject practically more than yourself. Okay? So, that's how the confidence increases or decreases. So, all you have to do is what I suggest. Talk to people, break their confidence. Whenever you are in an interview, talk to people. When in the, you are in the lobby, talk to them. If someone says, I'm a fresher, says, I have so and so medals, I won so and so prizes. This is my special, specialization. I can do any program like that <clears throat> if you are going for a programming job. Sorry? To act in that way. Yes, even if you know or not, if you don't know, you should act like that. You should act like that. So that, see, it's common psychology. If I know things better than you, you would be scared of me. Yes. Right? In an interview, if I know things better than you, you would think that, okay, there is a person who knows about the same thing better than me. He might get selected. But what if you make me realize that you, knows, you know things better than me? So, I should be scared. Okay, there is another person who is attending the same interview who knows things better than me. And I might, you know, my confidence might get decreased. I might not be that confident enough as I was before after talking to you. So, you can do this. Try this out in an interview. This might help. Okay? Any other possibilities of not being confident? Yes. What I understood is, you were not uh, that good in programming, so you have chosen software testing as of now. Okay, and what's your question? Okay, now, brother, who suggested you to take testing? No, did anyone suggest you to take testing as a career? As testing was easy, you've taken testing. Something like that? Okay. Okay, now, let me clarify this. You guys know testing is the last implementation phase of a software development life cycle. How many of you are aware or not? Aware? Okay. Now, what happens is mostly Testing is the period wherein a software gets developed and tested, given to the client. And a tester is supposed to have more knowledge or experience than a developer. Because if the testing is not done properly, there might be a drawback in the software and there might be a penalty to the client, from the client. If the software is not tested properly, it might not work. There could be some issues. So no company, have you ever seen testing job for freshers anywhere in the market? They at least look for someone who is three to five years experience in testing. 
Yes. Now, how you get, come to testing is first you become a programmer internally move in the company to testing as a tester. So there is no way out that you can join as a testing fresher. Check out. You might you can go to Nokri, you can go to Monster, Times Jobs, Shine.com, anywhere. Check what are the openings available for testing, but you would at least get two to four years, not lesser than that. If there is a possibility, if the company who is looking for candidates is not getting experienced people, then there might be an opportunity. But unless that, there is no option that you get a fresher job for testing. So it's better you move for development. Okay. Now, in case you have not selected, what you have to do, I would suggest you to go with Android, Blackberry, iPhone. These are the happening developments in the market. Android developer would get at least 40k per month. Sure. And an experienced Android developer will get 1 lakh plus. At least 2 to 3 years Android developer. Because Android is the software for next at least 20 years. There might be a possibility of getting Android OS too. Okay. Yes. No. Go C C plus plus C is all very simple if you understand it. I'm a BCA graduate, so I know everything about it. Very easy. It's just you sh you need a good instructor. Implementing it, writing the program. You're getting any errors? Now, to best understand that, do a lot of programs with the basics. Again, go with next further enhancement, then more programs. So that gives you a clear. So usually, these programming, when it, even if you not keep a single braces. Single comma, you get errors. So that's how software is. So you have to make sure everything is in place. Now to make sure everything is in place, you need to have rigorous practice on that. Until unless you do practice on that, you will not. Now for uh, Android, you need to know J2ME, Java 2 Mobile Edition, J2ME. But if you're planning C++, no jobs presently in the market. Java, no jobs. .NET, no jobs. PHP, no jobs. For freshers, I'm talking about, not experience. Because we have somewhere like 4 lakh graduates from engineering every year from Andhra Pradesh only. Or of which we get to the max 15,000 to 28,000 fresher jobs in companies. I'm talking about big numbers, big companies. So, where is the possibility of you getting it? There are possibilities, but we don't approach. And mostly companies to reduce their uh, cost of recruitment, they are going to campuses of big colleges. So, if you belong to one of the big college, you're lucky enough. If not, then you'll have to struggle. So, have you completed your graduation? Completed which year? So, what have you been doing since one year? Hmm. Hmm. Write that, check, see, before you do that, check what are the options available in the market. Whether do we have any openings or not. Again, what will you do after completing testing? Search for a job. When there is no job, what will you do? So, right away go, once you go home, check knockery.com, monster.com, all these websites, what are the uh, opportunities available for testing. If there are any, you're lucky enough, apply for it. If not, move to something which is happening. Yes. 
Android, iOS, Blackberry, anything. Blackberry is not in demand right now, but there are possibilities with the launch of this 10. So there are possibilities. But Android is you have now billions of devices on Android. And iPhone also the demand is increasing. There are possibilities of getting a good job in that. Okay. Any other questions? No? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Okay, good. Now we'll wind up now as we have another session. If you have any questions, you can get back to us next week. Okay, thank you guys.